Hello, this is Thomas LeMay, and today we're looking at some improvements we made at Project Freedom. It's located just down the coast from San Francisco in Foster City, California. Uh, to summarize Project Freedom, it's a new office campus made up of three separate buildings in a central parking garage. Turner, a general contractor for the primary tenant. One of the main challenges for Turner and our trade partners on this project is working intricately with the base building contractor, designer, and the owner, in particular planning and execution of the work. It's critical to the success and safety of each one of our workers. If you can, if you can imagine four large office buildings being constructed all together at once inside and out, you can think of equipment moving, deliveries, and just basic sequencing of the work. At Turner, we value this planning and call it Making Work Ready Planning, or for short, Make Ready Planning. Essentially, we're working on establishing a pull-based system for individual trades to perform their work in the most efficient manner for the individual trade and the overall project. So first, we look at many things. We looked at uh, printing and posting the six-week schedule just to visualize it. I mean, can you read that? Talk about over-processing and underutilizing talent. Uh, a couple other things we tried. We tried visualizing work with whiteboards. We tried Excel spreadsheets and even large screen TVs. They all kind of helped, but it still was us, Turner, pushing out the information at the trades. And this is essentially the opposite of what we're trying to create. So Turner, we look at continuous improvement through the lens of Deming and Womack plan do, check, adjust, while ensuring the future state is aligned with each of the five principles of lean. So stay tuned. Turner Senior Project Superintendent Gary Silver will tell you the rest of the story. Hello, my name is Gary Silver, uh, General Superintendent for Illumina. The implementation of the last planner system has been uh, key to finding waste and eliminating and trying to, to redirect our efforts in a way that around this site um, in the buildings within the paths that aren't always determined by us in a normal project. So using those processes, and I like to put this here as a continuous improvement because we are always looking for ways to improve our process because the process lends itself to efficiency, always will lend itself to efficiency, or waste, however you choose, but understanding that. Uh, this is a great place to start. This, this room that we're sit, standing in and we'll have a full rotation is our big room. This project uses a combination of tools for pull planning, forecasting, and most importantly, diving down into the weekly work plan. The foreman's meeting occurs in this room is really just about uh, our make ready planning. And we focus on week four. Uh, all of our pull plans are put into the CPM. Then the, then the CPM spits out P6, talks to a program called vPlanner, which I love. It has eliminated a tremendous amount of waste. We're not doing double entry any longer of taking the information that the subs give us or what's in the pull plan and turning that into a uh, Excel sheet or Kanban or some other form of media. There's no double entry. Uh, behind me, you can see the countdown clocks. We have four buildings, henceforth four TCOs, um, that, and they're all targeted. They're prominently displayed in the big room. It's very important for everybody to be focused on the same target. Uh, quite often, as we know in our industry, the uh, other people other than the general contractor are intensely focused on different things. Not always have the same sense of urgency. The clocks make everybody that comes into this room, and this is where we do sub-orientation, so it begins here where you understand the sense of urgency. Oh, we're always on the same same target. So as you can pan around, uh, visuals are very important with Last Planner. Uh, finding, if you have to read a document that takes longer than that, your eyes will pick up a visual display much more rapidly. And so henceforth, our conference room, our big room, is festooned. There's not an empty wall. I wish there were more. To, to show some of the, the processes. So as you, you know, focus come around, obviously we have our, 
you know, standard whiteboard where people can draw and mark up and our monitor and, and all those types of things. We utilize the whiteboard also to do a plus delta on the end of every single meeting, whether it's with the subs, the owners, the OAC, or our internal staff meetings. Because working for Turner, as we all know, every meeting starts with safety, and it, now in the last planner world, every meeting ends with plus delta. So it starts and finishes every meeting the same way. So I just pan around, and then there's you know, a lot of visuals. Um, we have our count up clock. Or, so this is for safety, because promoting safety is always the beginning. Uh, this project has uh, 255 days with, with no recordable. In front of, on top of our board, our, our Shima monitor, you'll see uh, we have promoted primarily for everybody, because remembering our design team is not, uh, and owners too, are not on the same lean journey that the construction field is. What is lean? Continuous improvement to eliminate waste. That's the, that's the beginning. If you learn nothing else, is it have value added? Can I learn something new? And is it wasteful? If it, if it has waste in your process or in the implementation of a task, then it should be it should be discarded. It's value added, and every project should have a mission statement because it tells everybody from the from the lowest grade apprentice to the owner's owner. It tells everybody what we're focused on, and in this project, it's building the future to unlock the genome. You know, it's again more displays. We keep the uh, we keep we keep the uh, pool planning guidelines prominently displayed, everybody has a color and a tag. So uh, here you can see is a V planner, and again, same thing. This is an extraction from the CPM. This is our four week look ahead for this building. And the, as you go around the room, there's others. This, so this is building A, one of the buildings. It, we use swim lanes, vertical by, by time, and horizontal by area. So by being location based, it works well also with P6. Um, so we start in P6 in location base, and there they spit it out, and then we can add tags, and then you'll see where a subcontractor changed something. So in the foreman's meeting, it's not us telling them where the, what they're going to do this day and that day. It's us keeping them in check with each other that they're making reliable commitments. Because at the end of the day, we're not pouring concrete. We're not building walls. They are. So they're making reliable promises that I will build this wall on Tuesday, Mr. Electrician, you can get in on Wednesday. By them making the promises to each other, it's a more reliable commitment. In the foreman's meeting, we only talk about week four. We fine tune the commitments in week two and one, two, and three, but we focus on forecasting. It's all about reliable promises. So if we focus on week four, as we finish, we take week one's board off, we slide it off the end, we put it on the end and we slide it in and that becomes week four. And that's where the subs work. And that's where we, and, that, and then this is in the conference room here so that everybody, not just the foreman, can see it. So again, more V planner, more, more make ready. So we use the, the last thing we'll leave you with is the V planner is, is an excellent tool. And we have found from improving the process in the foreman's meeting, we plot out the V planner in the post-it visual, very visual, very easy, and they can add tags. If, but when we are doing, when we distribute the weekly work plan, we spit out the Gantt view. So the foreman and the daily huddles in the field are using the Gantt view of the same thing that the, that the foreman are committing to by post-it in the room. So th there goes uh, our, simple display and illustration of what we do at Illumina, implementation of the last planner system. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. I'll go ahead and pan around the rest of the room and then we'll show you our trailer, the way it's set up, because we did plan this project originally to make provisions for a co-located team. We've got the owner on site two days a week, the architects on site two days a week, and the subs all have trailers that are immediately adjacent to our trailer complex, so we get complete, clear, timely communication. So notice the open office layout in the office. We've got the architect back here. We've got the owner's representative and some of our subcontractors. <laughs> That's it. Thank you.